Yes, it will be a technological <laughs> signature, but it could be also a mothership that releases mini probes that maneuver. An object from interstellar space is doing the impossible. 3i Atlas has a tail pointing toward the sun, defying the solar wind that should blow it the opposite direction. Harvard's AV Loeb isn't speculating anymore. This could be alien technology, and NASA just activated planetary defense protocols for an interstellar visitor, the first time in history. Yesterday, the International uh, Asteroid Warning Organization uh, Network uh, decided to have a campaign starting mm. on November 27th until January 27th. But there's more. The 1950s, before Sputnik, before humanity touched space, our skies were empty, or so we thought. Dr. Beatrice Villarol and her team studied thousands of official NASA telescope photographs from this pre-space era. What they found defied explanation. Bright objects appearing in one image, then vanishing in the next. Not one, not ten, thousands of them. Five objects here, gone there. A pattern emerging from the archives. She published her findings. Mainstream science responded with silence, complete dismissal. Years of work ignored, thousands of identical glitches across different telescopes, different nights. The absurdity was staggering. Then today, everything changed. Peer review, validation. Her work confirmed by fellow scientists, but they found something more, a strong correlation between these vanishing lights and nuclear tests on Earth. When we split atoms, they appeared. Someone was watching our most dangerous moments. The scientists confirmed these lights are reflections, reflections off something real, rotating in space, a craft catching sunlight at the perfect angle, then moving, disappearing. Before we reached the stars, something else was already there, monitoring us watching our nuclear fire. Dr. Bitares Villarreal stands vindicated. The lights were real. The evidence undeniable. We were never alone. The third interstellar visitor, 3i Atlas, the most important object we've ever encountered. Full of anomalies, not acting naturally. And unlike Borisov, the second visitor, there's silence, complete silence. Well, um, we are still waiting for NASA to release uh, an image, the highest resolution image with 30 kilometers per pixel that was obtained on October 2nd by the high-rise camera on board the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. No public studies, no updates, nothing. Then suddenly, a new protocol drops. CD post-detection protocols, updated after 15 years since 2010, released right before Atlas reaches perihelion. Coincidence. NASA conveniently shuts down, then restructures under an intelligence umbrella. 800 generals meet in secret. New contact rules, right now, as 3i Atlas approaches. The scope exploded, before only radio signals. Now, techno signatures, all of them. They're preparing for something bigger. The framework tightens around public communication. Control over what gets released, who speaks, when, how, why this timing, 3i Atlas isn't a comet. The silence proves it. The coincidences reveal it. The protocol update confirms it. They're preparing. Not for discovery, for contact they know is coming. You can listen. You cannot speak. 3i Atlas approaches. The rules just changed. They know something we don't. Yet. October 29th, 3i Atlas reaches perihelion and vanishes behind the sun. We can't observe it. Perfect timing for unobserved maneuvers. We'll only discover what it did in December, one week before Christmas. But here's what nobody mentions. Space agencies worldwide are collecting data yet releasing nothing. Why the blackout? Normal comets have tails pushed away from the sun by solar wind. Basic physics, known for centuries. 3i Atlas did the opposite. Tail aiming toward the sun, like a car with exhaust blasting out the front. Avi Loeb wrote two scientific papers trying to explain it. He couldn't. Then September changed everything. The tail reversed within days, suddenly behaving normally, as if someone flipped a switch and changed operating modes. Images documented the impossible transition. That's not ice and dust. That's how machines behave. Avi Loeb calculated something that shattered every assumption. He stated directly, this object is 1,000 to 1 million times more massive than Oumuamua. Oumuamua was 100 meters, 3i Atlas is kilometers long. You're comparing an ant to an elephant. Uh, and the, the size of the object, you know, it's at least a thousand times more massive than the previous interstellar objects we've seen. And the question is, why is such a giant object delivered 
to our inner solar system when we saw only small ones before. This isn't a variation, it's a category-defying anomaly. Then the James Webb Telescope analyzed its composition. 87% carbon dioxide, 9% carbon monoxide, only 4% water. Normal comets are mainly water ice, dirty snowballs. This reads like a propulsion system. CO2 and CO in those concentrations match chemical thrust exhaust, not natural ice. October 29th is the critical moment. Loeb identified this as the ideal position for engine burns, accelerate to gain velocity, or break and possibly release reconnaissance probes toward Mars, Venus, or Jupiter. Perihelion, the gravitational sweet spot where advanced civilizations would perform maneuvers with maximum efficiency. And at that exact instant, 3i Atlas disappears behind the sun. Total blind spot. Our telescopes can't track it. Astonishingly convenient timing for a craft avoiding observation. If it accelerates, changes course, or deploys anything on October 29th, we won't know for weeks. The trajectory defies probability. Loeb said the most intriguing aspect is its path follows the ecliptic plane, where all planets orbit and passes close to Mars, Venus, and Jupiter. He used the word purpose. The odds of random alignment with the ecliptic, 1 in 500, passing close to three strategic planets, astronomically remote. It's exactly the route a reconnaissance mission would follow. A V-lobe is being blocked from accessing Mars reconnaissance orbiter imagery. The excuse? NASA shutdown. But scientific data doesn't stop for government closures, ever. This should be the best resolution image, three times better than Hubble, and it's locked behind administrative excuses. Unless the data is too sensitive for public release, then NASA activated planetary defense protocols for the first time in history for an interstellar object. These protocols were designed for asteroids on collision course with Earth, but 3i Atlas is leaving the solar system, zero impact risk. So why activate defensive measures? They're not worried about collision. He spoke with Scott Bolton, Juno's principal investigator. Bolton confirmed, Juno's radio antennas are aimed at 3i Atlas, listening for electromagnetic emissions that would indicate technological activity. A spacecraft built to study Jupiter is now eavesdropping on an interstellar visitor, searching for proof it's transmitting data. Information about what? Our planetary positions? Our technology? And to whom? The International Asteroid Warning Network launched an unprecedented global campaign. Observatories worldwide coordinating observations, gathering movement data, China's arrays, U.S. Space Force stations, European facilities, Japan's instruments, all redirected toward one target. This has never happened for an interstellar object, never. Yet all of them are collecting data and saying nothing about their findings. July 2025, impossible anti-tail pointing toward the sun. August, anomaly persists. Scientists can't explain it. September, tail reverses instantly, like a control system switching modes. October, enters solar blind spot at the ideal moment for maneuvers. October 29th, perihelion, perfect for trajectory changes or probe deployment. December 19th, emerges closest to Earth, one week before Christmas, each event at the exact moment an alien reconnaissance mission would execute that phase. Space agencies across five continents intensified monitoring. China, NASA, ESA, Japan. All gathering data, all silent. December is critical because any maneuvers from October will only be detectable after it clears the solar glare. If it accelerated, braked, changed course, or released objects, we'll discover it then. Christmas week could bring confirmation we're not alone. Avi Loeb is risking everything, his Harvard position, his reputation to tell us this. He stated, we would like to know as much as possible about its future path. It's the beauty of doing science, but real science means confronting uncomfortable possibilities. Most scientists won't publicly discuss alien origins. Loeb has that courage, and he's coordinating independent observations because he doesn't trust official agencies to be transparent. Two possibilities exist, and only two. Either we're witnessing the most statistically improbable natural phenomenon in astronomical history, 10 anomalies aligning by pure cosmic accident to mimic intelligent design, or we've detected our first evidence of extraterrestrial technology conducting reconnaissance in our solar system. There's no middle ground. NASA activated unprecedented protocols. Agencies mobilized global resources. Data remains restricted. Scientists are actively scanning for technological transmissions. October 29th, 3i Atlas reaches perihelion 
and vanishes behind the sun. If it's a spacecraft, that's when maneuvers happen. December 19th, one week before Christmas, closest approach to Earth, the images arrive, the data finalizes, humanity might receive confirmation, we've never been alone. What began as something doing the impossible has become something happening regardless of impossibility. The answer is already written in data we can't access, already transmitted to destinations we can't identify. When 3i Atlas emerges in December, everything changes. Either way, impossible just became irrelevant. 